My gang is Ron from ITMasterKey.com, and my job is to help each and every one of you guys get certified. So today we're going to talk about a security plus one. Is it worth it? And can it actually land you a job? So security plus is the number one cybersecurity certification for the Department of Defense. And if you're looking up into getting into cybersecurity or interested in cybersecurity, most likely this is one of those certifications that has uh, popped up and ran across your screen while you're scrolling, while you're doing research, when you're trying to figure out where should I start. So for me, it was my first cybersecurity certification. Why am I stuttering and stumbling on my words? <laughs> for me, it was my first uh, cybersecurity certification. And for many of my students, it's their first cybersecurity certification. Now, if you've seen previous episodes, I don't recommend this being your first certification. But for those who have experience and have other certifications, this is a great certification for security, a great place to start. So, like I said, um, this pretty much is a certification that's chosen by the United States Department of Defense. And if you're working for the government, a lot of times you have to have this certification to even have access to devices and even land a job. So Security Plus is a certification that has you know, regular multiple choice questions, just like any other exam, but also it reaffirms or confirms that you can actually do the job through simulations, right? So as of right now, it's the only cybersecurity certification that has a huge emphasis on hands-on practical skills. So it ensures that you become better, right? You're better prepared for problem solving and can actually do the job once you're hired. So the exam really updates every year or so um, as far as add new things. But as far as the actual additions of the exam, they usually come out every three years. But if you take the exam, it's going to have things that are happening right now, right? So some exams you'll take them and they'll literally be talking about stuff that doesn't even matter anymore, things that we don't even use anymore, right? So with this exam, it's gonna be right on time and rightly aligned with what's actually going on right now, right now. Now, the exam itself goes over that core knowledge right? The foundational stuff that's needed for any cybersecurity job, right? And we'll actually talk about, you know, what jobs you can get and what certifications, excuse me, what uh, jobs the certification actually use within, okay? So you can kind of use this as kind of like a intermediate springboard, right? Between what you're doing now and what you want to be doing eventually. So through the actual exam, itself you will gain four fundamental things that you need to be able to have a successful career in cybersecurity. so one of those things you'll be able to assess the security posture of an enterprise environment right so a business organization and you'll be able to not only recommend stuff that they should fix but actually implement those fixes for them right and that's where the bag is ladies and gentlemen that is where the money is you also be able to monitor and secure environments whether it's a hybrid environment meaning that they got some physical stuff they got some stuff in the cloud they got some mobile stuff they got some iot stuff you'll be able to rock out and secure all of that stuff you also be able to move and shake or operate with an awareness of laws and policies that's another thing you got to be aware of the laws, the regulations, just to make sure that the company is in compliance and everybody there is in compliance so they don't get shut down. And another thing, you got to know how to respond to security events and incidents and also have training and give training to people so they know what to do if things go left, right? So the Security Plus is one of those things that 
cover a myriad of topics, hundreds of topics to be, you know, clear. But let's just go over the domains, right? So one of the things you're going to learn if you get Security Plus is how to deal with attacks, threats, and vulnerabilities. You got to be well versed in what hackers are doing, what ransomware is out there, what viruses are out there, what incidents have happened lately, what vulnerabilities your current organization has, how you can harden that system, how you can better train the users to know how to respond to incidents. So that's one of the reasons why the students in the Zero IT Hero program, once they get A plus, right, which is um, their first employment ready certification, they get a lot of opportunities. But once they get security plus, like the flood doors open and it's a completely different conversation when it comes to a salary as well. Now, of course, you know, nothing guaranteed, but I've seen that it's made people's um, tech journey a lot easier because it definitely made mine a lot easier, right? So focusing on those attacks, threats, and vulnerabilities, it doesn't matter if it's on the internet, on some new devices that come out, you got to know how to mitigate attacks, threats, and vulnerabilities across the whole spectrum, right? Whether it's something super sophisticated or something as super simple as social engineering, somebody just asking random questions and getting information. You gotta know how to deal with those different things, right? Next up, you gotta learn, or you're going to learn architecture and design, right? The way that things are designed, because believe it or not, some things are designed inherently to be um, non-secure. Because a lot of times when you provide a better user experience, it doesn't necessarily provide a more secure experience, right? So you got to make sure that you know how to set up a design and architecture that is secure. Very important is implementation. That's the next thing you're going to learn. Okay, we know about the attacks, threats, and vulnerabilities. We know about the architecture. We know about the design. But how the hell do we actually implement this stuff, right? So you have to know how to implement, how to administer, how to have access management, basic cryptography, and in security. You got to know how to implement this stuff to make sure that everything works together in harmony, right? Now, another super important thing that some may overlook, they may want to just look at the techie stuff. You got to know about operations and incident response. Having incident response plans is super important just to make sure that everybody knows, okay, if shit hits the fan, what am I supposed to do? Who do I call? Where do I go? What number do I dial? You don't want people just sitting there just pretty much watching the entire company burn to the damn ground, right? You want to make sure that everybody's on the same page. Now, last but not least, like I talked about um, earlier, was governance, risk, and compliance. Making sure that whether it's HIPAA, whether it's local laws, whether it's federal regulations, you've got to make sure that everybody's on the same page and everybody's doing what they need to do when it comes to actual governance, risk, and compliance, right? So next up, let's talk about some of the jobs that you would be eligible for if you got Security Plus. Now, once again, um, I'm not, you know, one of these places that say, hey, man, you'll get this certification and um, you're going to be working at uh, Netflix. You're going to be working at Tesla. You're going to be working at this place, that place. But the opportunities are there. And this is one of those things where it's not like a secret. It's not like, I don't know what the hell is going to happen once I get certified. Literally, before you even get certified in any certifications, drop um, the certification inside of any job search platform and thousands of jobs are going to pop up. It's up to you to actually go out there and get them, though. OK, so some of the jobs that you can land can be a security administrator, a cloud engineer, a security engineer or analyst, an auditor is another one, uh, DevOps, and even an IT project manager, right? Those are all, those are just a few, right? Just to name a few, those are all the jobs that you can actually get 
that I've gotten because of Security Plus, that my students have gotten because of Security Plus, and that you can get because of Security Plus as well. So we went over the exam, pretty much what the objectives are, what to expect. Now, on the actual exam itself, right, you're going to get, like I said, multiple choice questions, you're going to get drag and drop stuff, and you get performance-based questions. Now, the performance-based questions are the simulations, right? So that's kind of the way to prove your hands-on experience, right? So not only can you just regurgitate information, but you can actually fish, fish, fix, F-I-X. <laughs> You can actually fix issues. I'm so excited, man, to get you guys a fucking job. I guess can't they can't talk today. But anyway, um, you're uh, actually proving that you can do this stuff through the simulations, right? Now, you got 90 questions. You got 90 minutes. Now, no experience is required, right? But I recommend that um, you get some other certifications before that and have a little bit of experience. I do not recommend that you take this as your first certification. If you want to do that, you can. Most likely you are an adult listening to this. You can do as you please. But as um, a tech veteran with damn near two decades of experience and 15,000 students taught, I wouldn't fucking do it. But if you want to do it, that is on you. That is on you, right? So, as far as the certification, right? It's not like a degree. It's not useless. It's uh, very, very beneficial. Um, the time commitment is nowhere near as long as a degree. And it's not stagnant, meaning that it changes and updates. And you're going to have to be a forever learner if you're going to be in tech because shit is moving so fast. And the certifications expire every year, right? So you're gonna have to do some learning, either retake the certification or do some training that can actually fulfill the requirements of you retaking the certification, right? So, um, can you get a job from Security Plus? Yes. Will you get a job from Security Plus? Once again, that's completely up to you. You have to apply to a lot of jobs you have to have a good network and if you're serious you know you would be in a training program that doesn't take forever um and doesn't actually just have you get oh that's another thing i want to you know just a caveat um some people are confused they'll get in a training program they'll get into even a college and they'll get a certificate from that job i mean from that training or from that college that's just a certificate, literally just a piece of paper from that school saying that you finished this training and they'll be underneath the, the guys or the misunderstanding that, oh, I'm certified. No, 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 dum-dum. You just got a fucking piece.